Right everyone, this is just a quick one. I've been told off. Why have I been told off, Elle? Because you weren't wearing your PPE. I'm really sorry. When I was forging, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. So if you're gonna forge, steel, hot steel, don't be like me and just do it in shorts and t-shirt and barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so don't do this at home, kids. All right? Yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hope you're all safe and well. Today is Damascus Day. Canister Damascus Day. <sighs> right, everybody. So today I'm having a go at canister Damascus. <sighs> so all I've done so far, I've just got myself a bit of square tube, a tube, and I've cut out some flat bits. Now this is mild steel. The idea is, if you look in there, see, I've got lots and lots of bits and pieces of carbon steel that I've been keeping, just all and sods. Now I've cleaned it all up. I rumbled it all with my homemade rumbler, which I'll show in another video at some point. So all I'm gonna do is to dry all this off. I'm then gonna line this with some stainless steel um, sheeting, which has been oxidized. Because I've seen online it works a lot better than like using Tipex and things. And the whole idea of that is that when I pour this into here with, oh, here we go, with this, which is 1095 powdered steel, which is carbon steel, but in a powder. I mix it all in together. This inside is stainless steel wrap, if that makes sense. And then that will stop it all sticking. So that when I finish forging this, which is of course gonna work perfectly, it'll come out in one piece. This is stainless steel sheeting. Now this is normally used by uh, for wrapping stainless steel when you, you're trying to heat treat. But this is going to be ideal to line this, but I need to oxidize this first, basically so that it doesn't stick to the rest of the steel. Right, next stage is to weld this lid, this end, then obviously insert my newly oxidized stainless steel inside, making a, uh, you know, like an, an internal cube, if that makes sense. And then, to seal up the other side once it's all filled up. Now, right, so I've welded up the back or the bottom. I've now inserted the, as you see, I've made like a, you know, like a pocket. But I've left these out, these pieces out, because the plan is once I've done it all, I'll then fold these in on top of the billet and then weld it up, if that makes sense. Ten eight. So there you have it. That's basically a box within a box. Um, so I'm gonna weld the top on here now. I don't want you to bore you that again. That will fit in nicely there. And then I wound up a handle on, and there we go. My first ever canister of Damascus. And I'll put it in the forge. Just for those of you that haven't seen it before, this is Frankenpress. This 
is a log splitter that I've converted to a press. So you press your little foot on the pedal. Then we have a four ton log press. Now a lot of people said, oh, it's not powerful enough, but I've made bowies and everything out of this with Damascus, so it works really well. And then my forge is a double forge. And I've made a couple of modifications to it for anyone who's interested. Well, mainly I put doors on. Now the reason I've done it like that is so that you can have your bar coming out, which you'll see in a minute, but you can still look in and have a look. But it saves a massive amount of gas and keeps heating really well. And that's just um, made that out of tin. And then this is fire brick inside, as you can see. It really needs doing it at some point, which I'll do. But there we are, fantastic bit of kit. If you're looking out for a gas forge, Honestly, I've had this thing for what well, nearly a year, and you can see it. Look, I, I, I really use it, and it's um, it's just been fantastic. Anyway, let's get on with it, Arthur, shall we? Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in, let it warm up, and just see if there's any obvious gas running escaping, which would indicate that my welds are bad. So uh, just chucking in there. What do you reckon then? It's coming off, look. I don't, I don't know. That looks to me like that, that's a solid lump of steel inside. And no, it's like how the, it's just peeling away. I think that'll do, donkey. Right, as you can see, look, look at that. <laughs> Do 
know what, this is a solid killer, this is fantastic. Right, I don't want to bore you with this, so let me knock it aside and have a look. Absolutely fantastic. Look at that. No effort whatsoever. Well, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll take this out of here. And let's have a look and see what we've got, shall we? Right, everybody. I enjoyed doing that. I think that was a fantastic success. Um, and putting a stainless steel liner in, boy, even though it takes a little bit more time. I mean, I was expecting to be beating this out for hours and it's taken me literally five minutes. And it's just fallen out. I've literally just pulled that out by hand. So anyway, let's have a look. This is what we're left with. Not a lot, is it, after all that? So what we'll do, we'll give this a clean up on the grinder and we'll just give it a little latch and we'll just see if we've actually managed to make anything up or worthwhile. Well everyone, after that effort we have got a block. And it never amazes or well, ceases to amaze me how much steel you lose in the process. It's only take the ends off and you lose steel to a uh, scale, etc. You only got a great deal left, but it's a solid block. Now don't this down a 180 and we'll just chuck it in some ferric, shall we? Let's have a look see what it looks like. Who knows? Oh. Oh. Well, we definitely got something coming out. Could be interesting actually. Oh, look at that. We just give that a rinse, everybody. <laughs> we have made, I don't know if you can see this now. Very well. We have made canister Damascus. Now what I'm going to do with this is obviously I'll stretch this out. So that's going to change a pattern quite a lot. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. My first ever go. I think that's come out fantastically well. <laughs> Look at that big piece. Yeah, so like I said, what I'll do is I'll stretch this out. I might fold this over again just to see what kind of effects we can get. But I think that's going to end up looking pretty funky. And that's a really good solid weld look. But there we go guys. So. Canister Damascus. Another problem. Right. See you in part two. Take care everyone. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification. See you later. Bye.